What's up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Sunday. You know it's a Sunday fun day around here. Fill up a glass with something warm. Get some bacon out. Oh, I got to make some bacon. All right. What do we got going on here? Oh, I got to get my thoughts organized. Tonight, me, Jeff, and Sean, 8 p.m. Eastern, YouTube Live. Be there. Uh, it's going to be lively, I'm sure. Uh, now that we have some camp, some intel coming in, we got some video, we got interviews with dudes. We got interviews this week with the linebackers, the running backs, quarterbacks. So good shit all around. Uh, oh, I've been doing a terrible job of, of pimping this. I, I hate pushing, like selling stuff. I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, if you want something, you know, I'll definitely help you find it, but I just don't like shoving things down people's throats. That's what she said. Um, but 25% off the BuckeyeCast.com. That's our, our supply store. That's uh, hats, T-shirts. Uh, I wear the T-shirts every show. Every single show is one of my designs I'm wearing. Um, so many, there's dozens and dozens of, of designs I've created um, in the hats and the T-shirts. But right now we got a fall camp sale going on 25% off everything. Uh, so check it out. The Buckeyecast.com. You get yourself some gear and support the show at the same time. You know, uh, I believe things are reasonably priced. I, I'd say definitely cheaper than the stuff you'd buy on the Ohio state Buckeye store. But anyways, today we are resetting the recruiting board here a little bit, kind of like Ohio state's doing on the defensive side of the ball. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't want to know what their board looks like right about now. I probably would take a flamethrower to it. But anyways, so updates from the past week or so. 2023 linebacker Nigel Glover transfers in from Northwestern. That's awesome. Picking up dudes. 2024 corner Aaron Scott committed last weekend. Awesome too. Love it. 2024 safety KJ Bolden does not commit to the Buckeyes. Not great, Bob. Um, anyway, uh, 2024 DN, Dylan Stewart commits to South Carolina. Not great, Larry. Um, 2024 defensive end, Edric Houston, is a must-get at DN for the Buckeyes. Coming up with an August 22nd commitment date. Bama seems to be the leader now. How the fuck does that happen? I don't know. Um, ask Larry Johnson. 2024 wide receiver Jeremiah McClellan. He's the only, uh, one of the few offensive guys here. Uh, Jeremiah McClellan, commitment date of August 13th. So it's coming up in a week. Um, tackle Brandon Baker uh, has set an official visit to Nebraska for the weekend of September 16th. So he's taking an in season visit. That means don't expect a, a decision anytime soon. I wouldn't be surprised if that goes to December. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, 2025 corner, Jonte Gilbert decommitted. Uh, but on the bright side, 2025 corner, Devin Sanchez. Uh, the Buckeyes made his top 10. He's the top corner in the class. Um, and then, of course, 2026 wide receiver, Chris Henry Jr. committed. So getting you up to speed. I know you probably know 90% of that stuff at least. But so the Buckeyes are going to have to reset – the defensive end board and possibly hit the portal next year. Um, I think I'm, I'm leaning heavy on hit the portal next year because uh, here are, here's what we have like as our, our targets right now, but this is with no other offers going out uh, at edge. You got Booker Pickett jr. I've talked a lot about him lately. Uh, the Buckeyes just made his top five. He announced um, he's scheduling fall visits official visits. So um, he has been to Ohio state three times. Uh, so that's a good thing. He's also been to Florida state, Miami, uh, Florida too, I believe. So um, he's from Tampa area. He would be a replacement as close as you can come anyways for uh, Dylan Stewart, because he would be playing that Jack position. He had 30 sacks as a junior 30 plus 16 TFLs last year. Insane. Uh, so, but he's, he's only like 205, you know, so 
throw 30, 40 pounds on him, maybe at the most, but he's got a, he's more like a Jack position guy. So um, at the, at the true edge, you got uh Marquise Lightfoot. Is there a sinking ship off the coast of Miami? Very likely. Um, does he jump off that, that sinking ship and grab a Buckeye life raft? Hope so. We'll see. Larry's got to stay on that one. Like, White on rice. Uh, then you got uh, another dude, Charleston Collins. He's an Arkansas commit. Uh, he has an offer from Ohio State, but has never visited. So not sure how real, realistic that is. Um, Going to need an in-season visit there. Uh, Dominic Kirks is committed to Washington, uh, but does not have an OSU offer. Can they swing that? We'll see. Um, but talking more about D-line recruiting, let me give you a quick rundown of what we've signed over the last uh, four cycles, well, three um, plus this year. Uh, 2021, we signed the number one at number four, number eight, number 16, and number 18 D-linemen in the country. So you had Jack and JT in there, of course. Uh, Tyleek and Mike Hall were in there. Then 2022, so that's a stellar class in 21. 2022, you sign number eight, number nine, number 13 edge rushers in the country, and number 17 D linemen. 2023, you sign the number 10, number 18, number 20 D linemen in the country, and number 19 edge rusher. Um, then so far in this 24 class, we have the number four D lineman in the, in the country. So see, we hit a little lull there in the 23 class. Uh, 22 was okay. Uh, you got the number eight, nine, 13 edge rushers, but uh, really took a took a shit in the 23 class. And it looks like it's not going to be, especially the edge rushers in this 24 class. We're just getting, we're running out of options at this point, right? I mean, uh, some dudes are going to have to make some serious waves their senior years coming up uh, in order to get an offer and get on campus, you know, and all that. So. Um, I did a little studying, a little comparison about offensive and defensive recruiting for the Buckeyes over the last four cycles. So the last three plus this 24 cycle, really. Um, so what I studied was offense versus defense, total offers sent out, uh, commitments we have received, and then the average per player ranking. Okay. So Total offers we sent out, let's start with 21. 2021, total offers on offense, we sent out 89. That's a lot for the Buckeyes, plus 80 on defense, okay? What we got back, 11 commits on offense, 11 on defense. Um, and the average player ranking, very close here. Uh, offense was a 95.36. Defense was a 9.473. So going to 2022, we put out 53 offers. Look at that. That's like 35 less than the previous year. 53 on offense, 63 on defense. Then we got 12 commits on offense, 10 commits on defense. Now, th this average per player ranking was pathetic, 86. It's probably um, O-lineman. Are, are the reason. So in the 22 class, the offense average per, per player ranking was an 86. Defense was a 93.8. All right. 2023 class offense, we put out 66 offers. Defense, 79. Offense got 10 commits. Defense got 10 commits. Offense had an average player rating of 93.3. Defense, 93.4. So very close there. Now, this 24 class is where you see you see uh, a vast difference in the number of commits. That's the concerning part, because um, at one point we thought this was going to be close to a 30-man class. Now, we're going to be lucky to hit 25. Um, so offers we sent out so far, 61 on offense, 74 on defense. Commits, 12 on offense, 7 on defense. The offensive rate, average player rating is 9108. Defensive player rating is 92.43. Okay, so what does all this shit tell you? 
to me, it's not a lack of sending out offers. We have sent out more defensive offers over the last three years than offensive offers. So that's fine. But especially in this 24 class so far, we have five fewer commitments. 23, we had the same number of commitments, offense to defense. Um, and the average player rating was almost even. 2022, more defensive offers, but two fewer commits than the offense. But the defense had higher rating, had a much higher rating in their uh, 10 commits. So um, 2021, almost the same number of, of offers sent out and the exact same number, 11 commits on both sides of the ball. Uh, 21 had a slightly better offense uh, average player rating by about 0.6. So putting out the number of offers is not the problem. I think we could probably put out more offers, honestly, especially on defense. Um, and, and maybe, I don't know. I don't want to be like Michigan and, and put out over 300 offers and just, you know, spray the entire field. But I don't know. It seems like we're not getting enough quality. I don't know, just enough commits on the defensive side of the ball, you know, um, especially with this 24 class. I'm very concerned about how this is going to play out, especially with the D line linebacker. We're fine. Uh, corner. We're good. But safety. And D line, specifically D D end, defensive end, those two are. I don't know how we're going to get six more guys, you know, out of those two positions. I, I don't see it. We're going to have to hit the portal hard, and there better be some quality out there. It's the only thing I can say after this recruiting class. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm really interested to hear how you guys feel about this. Does this bother you? Is there anything? What would you do? Would you send out more, more offers? Go heavier on defense? Because um, getting offensive quality offensive players is not a problem, obviously. So hit me in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. All right. Talk to you later. Go Bucks.